a voice of today, I bring to the stage the great senator from the state of California, Kamala to do for the next 24 hours, yeah. right? Because we've got some work to do, everybody. We've got some work to do. Michigan, I do believe you are going to make the difference in terms of the outcome of this election. I do believe that. I do believe that. And when I look at this great state, it is the bellwether, it is the measure of how America is doing and what America is capable of doing. And when you put the kind of fight and work that you have always put into investing in the future of America, we will elect Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. And you know, I believe Joe is right when he says that this election is a fight for the soul of America. He's right. You know, you all have heard me say many times, I do believe this is an inflection moment in the history of our country. This is a moment in time where we have to look in a mirror and ask ourselves, who are we? And I think we all know we are better than this. We are better than this. And what we have witnessed in these last three years are powerful forces that have been trying to sow hate and division among us. They are voices that have been trying to divide us and have us turn against each other. And here's my theory about it. I believe there has been a conscious attempt to try and disillusion us, trying to have us believe that the systems cannot and will not ever work for us, trying to have us believe that we cannot trust our democracy trying to have us believe that we don't matter. Powerful forces that I believe consciously have been trying to say to you, you don't matter, so don't participate because you can't make a difference. They're trying to say to us, do not trust your government. They're trying to convince us that we are alone. But see, what we know is the power is with the people. The power is with the people. What we know, what we know is that we will not be overlooked and we will not be canceled. We will not be canceled. We will not be canceled. So that's what this election is about. It's about saying we know we matter. We know the power is with the people. Yes, we have not achieved the ideals of our country, yet we all know that too. But we know that if we stop fighting, we will never get there, and so we fight. That is the strength of who we are as a nation. The strength of who we are as a nation has always been about fighting for our ideals. And so let's talk about the Joe we know. Yes. Let's talk about the Joe we know. I'm going to tell you, I am so proud to endorse Joe Biden to be the next president in the United States. I, 
believe in Joe. I believe in Joe. You know, one of the things that is so reflective of his personality is when he says, there is room for everyone. That's, but that's who he is. That's really who he is. He is an individual who has lived a life of incredible service to others. He has made great personal sacrifices in his life. He has experienced in life great pain and great glory. He understands who people are. And you know, I've been in Washington, D.C. for about three years now, and I'm going to tell you something. Donald Trump, he, he, he doesn't get it. Donald Trump does not get it. He does not see people. The only people he sees are the person he looks in the mirror and sees. He does not see the people. We need a president of the United States who feels, who understands, who is thinking about that father who is at his kitchen table past midnight trying to figure out how he's going to get through the end of the month when he's working two jobs and knows he's missing his son's ball game. We need somebody who sees that mother who is sitting in the parking lot looking at the sliding glass doors of the emergency room and knows that even though she has insurance, if she walks through those sliding glass doors with her sick child, she might be out of pocket one to four thousand dollars for her deductible. We need a president of the United States who has the courage and the power to see and feel and understand that is a sign of strength. And then through that strength, lift up the people. That is Joe Biden. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell you on a personal level, I got to know Joe best through his son, Bo. So I was Attorney General of California. And during that time, there was a whole finding about how the big banks had been engaged in predatory lending activities. So many people here in Michigan and around the country lost their homes through that foreclosure crisis. Bo Biden stood with me, even though the state of Delaware had not been hit as hard as so many other states. I got to know Joe through Bo because You've never seen, it's a rare thing to see such a special relationship between a father and his son. It was an extraordinary relationship they had. And Bo showed courage all the time and conviction as he spoke with so much love about the father who raised the man that he was. I know Joe. And that's why I'm supporting him. And my final point then is this. Michigan, justice is on the ballot in 2020. <laughs> justice is on the ballot. Economic justice is on the ballot in 2020. Reproductive justice is on the ballot in 2020. Healthcare justice is on the ballot in 2020. Environmental justice is on the ballot in 2020. Racial justice is on the ballot in 2020. And Joe Biden is on the ballot in 2020. And with that, I introduce the next president of the United States.